Good morning, adventurers. Good morning. Last time you guys saw us, we were in this amazing villa here in Bali, but we've actually moved to a different villa called the Chill House. The Chill House. Yeah. And we are here with King It and uh, Flying the Nest and The Way Away, and we've all kind of rented this place out so we can chill here for the next three days. Pun intended. Oh. Huh? See what I did there? Yeah. We'll give you guys a look around this place in just a bit, but we're kind of late to breakfast, so we're gonna run, hit that up, because mm -hmm. the breakfast here we heard is amazing. Yeah, and then I think we might do some shopping, get some smoothie yeah. bowls. There's this epic like shopping street that everyone wants to go to, and uh, we'll tell you more about that when we get there, but it's gonna be crazy, I think. It's gonna be really fun. Plus, it's Jess's birthday from oh, yeah. Flying the Nest. So, so happy birthday, Jess, if you're watching this. All right, let's go eat. You guys, we have an epic breakfast spread here. I had no idea it was gonna be quite so beautiful. It is lovely. Look at all the, yours is like hot pink. Yeah. With the beets in there. These are the uh, Turkish eggs, which look friggin' delicious. I think there's like chili flecks on top of those and yeah, they're poached. The wilted oh, yeah, wilted spinach and stuff. And then if you do this like, the Chill House breakfast, you yeah. get one of the breakfast items, you get two sides, you get juice, you get coffee or tea. Look at this, it's yeah. magnificent. I did the, superfood salad. So I think I have broccoli and kale and grapefruit and grains in there. It came with that pesto so toast, good. a poached egg, and then I did some little grilled tomatoes and wilted spinach on the side. Eric was maybe smarter than me and did smashed avocado and toast. Yeah, it looks so classy. That's gonna be good. And look at this little, we thought this was tofu, but I think it's butter. It's a little butter palette. <laughs> look what Josh got. Oh my God. I already made it look messy because I, I, so I thought about eating it. No, it still looks bomb though. It looks good. Yeah, oh, I'm pretty Tiramisu jealous. pancakes. This is our room. Check out this bed. Absolutely amazing. They have these little, uh, this little heart, flower heart right here. It's so cute. And check out this bathroom. A lot of the uh, bathrooms in Bali are outdoor, as you can see. So you get privacy, but you get all this fresh air and the breeze and you can hear the sounds of nature. It's very nice. And the shower is just like completely open over here. That's very cool. Rubber ducky, you're the one. Jeez, check. <laughs> that's legit fruit up there. <laughs> Hundreds of, of scooters that are stuck behind them. <laughs> The street that we're walking on is called Legian Street, I think is how they said to pronounce it. Legian, yeah, something like that. But it's kind of like a really well-known walking street where they have, it's kind of lined with shops and it's really long. I think it's like a 30 minute walk all the way down I it. I think so, yeah, yeah. But there's a bunch of shops, there's a bunch of little markets like this one here mm -hmm. that we found. So we're gonna find some good stuff to eat, maybe do a little shopping. Maybe, get one we or two things. We can find affordable items and try not to get killed by all these scooters. <laughs> Jess just showed off her haggling skills. What was the starting price? It was meant to be 30 Australian and I got it to 12. Yeah, nice like job. Like more than half price. And what did you get? It's a little birthday present to yourself, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. It's this white tassel bag. Yeah, nice yeah, job. Girl. It's cute. So Bali. Yeah. <laughs> Bali chic. <laughs> Y'all, we found the quaintest little juice bar. It's called Fruits, and we were walking by it, and it's the tiniest thing. You might miss it if, you, if you're not paying attention, but the That's juice looks amazing. It's so refreshing. It's, if you can't tell, we're glistening, because it's pretty warm out here. I got uh, one called Warmer. It's apple, carrot, orange, and ginger. Oh yeah, and they iced it up. Yeah, that's gonna be good. Oh, it is good. Oh yeah? It's real good, yeah. It's got a little ginger kick to it, a little spiciness. Do you wanna try it? I just, <laughs> it looks so good. It I had to get really it. Oh, ooh, 
the ginger is that's, that's that's strong. Right. Also be the beet root. Mm -hmm. I did the ABC, which is apple, beetroot, carrot, so it's really nice and red. I won't spill it on myself this time. Yesterday I spilled my beets all over my light jeans and that was really sad. It's so red. I love beetroot. I used to hate beets. It's one of those when you're a kid, your mom makes you eat and you're like, only grandma eats beets. Beets are but, actually bomb. Yeah, guys. as I've gotten older. Oh, like wow. sweet and earthy. They taste like sweet dirt, yeah. really. <laughs> you have to appreciate like the earthy vegetable taste in Yeah, you just have to know like, this is what healthy tastes like, right? And the best part about this place is these were only $17,000. Just kidding. Mm. They were 17,000 Indonesian <laughs> dollars. Yes, but. So, so like a dollar is, twenty or something yeah, in USD. 20, yeah. We are in a car and we're heading to a smoothie place that you guys picked out, right? What is it? What was so special about it? They write your name on something? Well, they can like write lettuce on the smoothie. Oh, okay. It's I just thought they birthday cake. Okay. <laughs> so they, do they write it like on the smoothie or like on the cup or the plate or something? You'll see. I guess Ooh. we'll find out. Ooh, <laughs> I'm so excited. You ready for smoothies? Ready for smoothies. All the chilled drinks and beverages today. I love it. We made it to the smoothie place. It is called Kind, and it is very cool. Very well decorated on the inside of there. But all the food looks amazing. Steven and Jess are over there trying to get an Instagram. They actually are gonna get the smoothie bowl, but we've had a little too much uh, sweet stuff to eat and drink today, so we decided instead. <laughs> we went the opposite way, yeah. have french fries. Check this out. They have this like, is this like a chipotle sauce, did yeah, it say? Yeah, I believe so. And we got jalapenos on there, and then peppers or something? Yeah, some oh, peppers, yeah. and then it comes with crispy onions on top, but Eric hates onions, so I got them on the side for me. So it looks like there's like uh, some spices on the fries there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's no way this can be bad. You think these jalapenos are gonna be hot? No, no, there's people there. Really? Oh yeah. yeah. I'm gonna get a big jalapeno on there. Oh, he's going for it. I lied, they're gonna be oh. really hot. It is hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. A little too salty. But maybe do the jalapenos and the chipotle stuff separately because it's all very hot. <laughs> it's a little too spicy. But it's pretty tasty. Oh yeah, it's, I don't know if we mentioned this. It's a vegan place, so fries you can feel good about, or at least feel vegan about. Did you guys get the shot? Yeah, we I got think the we shot. did. Yeah. We got the it looks yeah. pretty good. Happy B Day. Oh, I see. That's <laughs> awesome. Look at that sort of um, mango. Check that out. That's amazing. Wow, that is beautiful. Oh man, it's so classy. Cool. It's a dragon fruit smoothie bowl, so underneath it's like pink. I oh, hope wow. no one else want to take photos because I'm destroyed. Oh yeah, now. you guys got your photos. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> yeah, got them. Oh hey, gang. Yo yo. Wow, we're wondering when you guys are gonna show up. Who is it? I can't see it. Who is it? So you're not lost. No, we stopped to shop for a little bit. We were. Oh, okay. We found you again. <laughs> Now we're blocking the traffic. <laughs> we're back at the chill house. We are going to chill at the chill house. Has that again, joke again, gotten again. old yet? <laughs> again, you did it. Nailed but it. this place is really cool. This is the common area where they have the pool over there. They the have big this pool. Yeah. Then they have this cool seating over here. Everything in this place is so classy and rustic and Instagrammable. We're gonna oh, have yeah. to do like a proper hour or so just going around all the different Instagram it's spots. It's beautiful and it's like it feels like you're in a jungle and it's neat because like there's a I mean, it's not a main road, but there's a lot of traffic out there, but then you step into here and it, yeah, really it feels is like you're just nice really secluded. It's yeah. very cool. So they have this restaurant area down here, and then upstairs they have a little workspace. Hey! Yeah, isn't this place so classy? Check it out. Very nice. So I managed to get the vlog finished. It's uploading right over here, which mm -hmm. is good. Um, I'm not in the best of moods, you guys, because I've been having a lot of technology issues that have been driving me nuts. My Wi-Fi card and my laptop just stopped working. My laptop is also very old. It's from like 2012, so it's barely able to run Premiere, which I use every single day. So every time I edit a video, it's a bit of a frustration, and it's just gotten worse and worse. And there's other problems that my laptop has that just... I can't buy, I wanna just go buy a new one, but I need one with certain specs that I have to order from Apple and I can't really get that shipped here. So 
it's been a, an ongoing annoyance. I actually bought two USB Wi-Fi adapters. Both of them don't work. So everywhere I go, it's like connecting to Wi-Fi, but then disconnecting or connecting and not giving me actual data. It's been annoying and exhausting, but okay, I'm making it work for now because rough. there's not really any solution, but I just wanted to vent to you guys <laughs> because this happens pretty much every time that I edit a vlog, I get pissed because my equipment is so shitty. Also, we, you know, we had an amazing day today. The day was awesome. Just yeah. the, the end of it was kind of annoying, but hanging out with everyone was amazing. We're going to be linking to all their channels in the description below of all the videos that we make with oh, them. Oh yeah, everyone did something kind of different today. We kind of yeah, all split cool. off. So you'll get to see all different perspectives of Bali or the, the area that we're in right now. But tomorrow, I'm a little nervous. We're leaving really early in the morning. Mm -hmm. And by that I mean 7.30 a.m. But we have to be down for breakfast by like 6.45. And then we are going, I think up north, we're going to explore some temples, some waterfalls. Um, we're all going to pile into a van. I think there's going to be like 11 of us in this van and yeah, we're just gonna, it's gonna go be fun it's gonna be like a road trip the countryside you know it's our goal is to hit up like all the best instagram spots so i think we're gonna make a video just showing off all those most epic spots that you can find in bali so yeah, hopefully just, it'll be useful to you guys if you come to bali and by instagram spots we mean just the most beautiful and amazing spots because bali has all this amazing landscape and scenery and we're we're in kind of like a touristy area we know that and like it's still beautiful but we want to get outside of it and see yeah. some of the nature so that's what we're gonna go look for tomorrow but we went down the road and found a tiny shop that had this really affordable um satay yeah well also it is like 10 p.m now so this is the only thing open this little cart mm -hmm. with this like little charcoal like just grill that was literally this big yeah i forgot to bring the camera so we didn't get any shots yeah. of it but we got 10 skewers a piece wrapped in newspaper yeah. and then a little hunk of rice each which is just in paper and we had no utensils, we realized, so there was one 24-hour shop across the road. So we got spoons, but this is kind of cool because now we can travel with these, so we don't have to get plastic everywhere we go. We can just use these on the road. Yeah, these were actually cheaper than um, a thing of plastic ones, like yeah. five plastic ones were yeah, more expensive than Yeah, now we can always this. just have like small these ones. whip yeah. them out. So they had chicken and lamb, I think, but we went with the chicken. Actually, that might've been all they had left tonight. Yeah. But look Check at these beautiful out. skewers. Ooh. Oh, these are going to be good. Yeah, it's going to be really good. And they mixed, it's definitely a peanut sauce down yeah. in there. And I think they put maybe some soy sauce. There was some brown sauce they squeezed on top. And then some other stuff that she just like made a huge pile, mixed it all over and drug these through it. Yeah. So I think it's going to be really great, especially with mm -hmm. the rice. We're going to mix it all together. Yeah. At least this is a good part of the night, right? Good night, adventures. We'll see you on the road.